Today I'm sharing a recipe for Loft House sugar cookie bars. I love sugar cookies and this is one of my favorite recipes. So let me show you what you're going to need. For the bar cookie portion, you are going to need flour, sugar, vanilla, softened butter, an egg, baking powder and baking soda, cream cheese, and then you're going to need some decorations, but the sprinkles are absolutely optional. And then for the yummy cream cheese icing, you're going to need butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, heavy whipping cream, and cream cheese. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is mix together our softened cream cheese and our softened butter. And this, by the way, is um, unsalted butter. And I will make sure, as always, to leave the recipe in the description box for you all. So let's, let's just uh, mix this up really quickly. And now I'm just going to add in my sugar and mix that up. And now I'm going to add in my vanilla and my egg. And by the way, my egg is also at room temperature and just gonna give it a good stir or mix, I should say. Now I'm going to add in my baking powder and baking soda and my flour. And you're just gonna make sure that everything is well combined. Okay, so I have a nine by 13 pan here that I have lined with nonstick foil. You could use parchment paper too, but I am using nonstick, that's just my preference. And then I have greased it with a little bit of butter. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So now all I'm going to do is um, transfer the cookie dough into the pan and spread it out. Now this is gonna be really sticky because of that cream cheese, um, but just do the best that you can. Okay, I've got my cookie dough all spread out, as you can see. Just do the best that you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes or until it is cooked through. Okay, so I just took the cookies out of the oven and I ended up baking them for 27 minutes. And let me show you the edges here. You can see they're nice and golden brown. And that is what you are looking for. So I am going to let these cool completely before I can ice them. Okay, so my cookies are completely full. Now it's time to make the cream cheese icing. So in my bowl, I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese, a half a stick of um, unsalted butter, and I am just going to cream this together. And now I'm going to add in my vanilla. Mix that together again. And I'm gonna add in my powdered sugar just a little bit at a time. And at this point, if you want your um, icing a little bit looser, you can add just a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And that's it for cream cheese icing. So now I'm just gonna spread this on my bar cookies. All right, so I lifted my cookies out of the pan and I have it laid out here. And now all I'm gonna do is ice the cookies. So I'm just gonna dollop the frosting kind of all over it and then just spread it out. Okay, I've got my icing on and I've got quite a bit left in the bowl that I'll find another use for. And so now I'm simply just sprinkling my 
candy, my decorations on top of the bars. Okay, so I am just going to let this set for, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes or so, and then I am going to cut the bar so you guys can see what the inside looks like. Okay, so here are the cookie bars, and they are so simple to make, so delicious, a very tender, delicate cookie. So they're not crunchy, they are soft like a loft house cookie. They kind of remind me more of a cake than a cookie. So let me show you one close up. And they're probably about uh, maybe an inch thick. So if you want it thinner, then of course you could use a larger pan if you want a thinner um, cookie. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and this recipe. If you did, it would really help us out if you gave us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.